Hello, everyone, and welcome to Knit a Rainbow. My name is Kimberly, and if you're brand new here, welcome. If you are not brand new here, I welcome you back. Thank you so much for being here. And it has been a minute, hasn't it? Let me take my glasses off. I don't really need them. So you may have been wondering where I've been. And, you know, it's so late. I'm podcasting so late. It's ridiculous. But um, I actually had COVID. And I actually, hi, Natalie. I actually did not have a very good time with it. So uh, I am still kind of on the mend. So I'm just, you know, doing my thing, trying to get, you know, trying to get healthy, trying to get, trying to get back. But uh, I ha I do have, hi, Gail. Um, we are just trying to, you know, do what we have to do. <laughs> but um, today I was going to come live, you know, this afternoon and my husband threw his back out. <laughs> So we were dealing with that. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Hey, Shayla. Ooh, there's my Shayla bag. Uh, so I have lots of finished objects to go over. I have lots of things that are coming up. Uh, and so I think we should just get right into it, shouldn't we? So my first, my first finished object that I want to talk about is... Oh, I forgot to bring what kind of yarn that is. Oh, well, um, is we finally finished up the uh, the knit along with the knitting place. And that was for the lovely tea. We had 103 knitters that were on that. And it was so much fun. Sadly, we had to push a week out because I couldn't talk. Uh, because of COVID, uh, but um, th that's over. And so I can show you the ones that I made during the knit along. So this first one that I finished, this is uh, made in Tin Lina. You can see this um, this thing right here. That just tells me that it's the back until I get one of those, you know, fancy. You love your, oh, thank you. That's okay. Uh, some people are still on their body, but it doesn't matter. Um, so here, this one is like a really pretty light pale color. And it is made in Tin Lina by Sanis Garn. And it, uh, I just, I love the way this came out. It wasn't actually my favorite to knit with because it was a little splitty but once i got the hang of it that was cool uh but the finished project friends holy cow i love the way it feels i actually threw it in the dryer and it came out just this beautifulness so i can't wait to wear it it is um wow the lighting is really harsh on me right now Oh, well, I don't care. I just wanted to come on here and talk to you all. I've been missing you. So uh, this was the first one that I did. And then I made this one. So this one is out of Suburban Stitchers, uh, Suburban Stitcher, uh, and it is out of her... I don't know. I want to say March hair, maybe. I, it has like just this really pretty greens and lavenders. And for the first time ever, I helical knitted. Mm -hmm. I was very excited. Ruth Ann. Hi, Ruth Ann. You've been wearing your lovely tea everywhere. That's so nice to hear. Um, uh, thank you, Gail. Gail says that my lovely teas are lovely. So with helical knitting, I found uh, I found a new passion. I actually really, really enjoyed it. Um, and so this one, I did not pop on my machine. So this one is completely all hand knit. But as you can see, because it is, um, it's hand dyed yarn um, by the lovely Diane of Suburban Stitchers, um, it, there's no pooling. So this is the front and here's the back and it just, it looks so beautiful and I'm so excited. Um, I actually did wear this last week. I actually, my husband packed me up and we went to the beach uh, um, just to get some sun on my face and hopefully, you know, get the, the last of this COVID out. 
Um, sadly, I have this, you know, back issue now where my back is killing me. So yay, fun. Uh, I don't know if that's just getting older or if it's, you know, because of COVID. <laughs> Who knows? Um, it's a good pattern when you make, you know, it's a good pattern when you make multiples. Oh, Natalie, you're so sweet. So uh, I just absolutely, I love the way this tee looks with shorts. I love the way it looks with jeans and flats. I love the way it looks with white jeans and flip flops. Um, I, I just, I love the way this tee is. Um, it just, you can, you can do it. You can wear them in so many different ways. Um, I wore, I'm going to wear this one with some white linen slacks. I did, did say slack. That's not my favorite word, but you're knitting your second one. Hey, Susie, thank you. And it really does look different with the type of yarn, you know, that you use. So it is a fingering weight pattern. And what, you know, what the, the amazing knitters in the knit along found out was that when you are knitting with fingering weight, it's not necessarily the most fun thing to knit with, but the finished product is I love wearing fingering weight projects. Hi, Carolyn. Oh, hey, Deb, how are you? Deb loves her lovely tea. It's so cozy. You had, yeah, we both had COVID together, right? Yeah, I, it it really knocked me for a loop. My, the rest of my family had it and I was the last one to get it. Um, they had it around Christmas time and they didn't seem to have it like I did. They were sick for one or two days and then, you know, they pretty much were sick of being in their room. Whereas I was like really sick for 10 days. I mean, it was sucked. Uh, you're almost finished with your lovely tea. It's beautiful. You want to make another one? Thank you, Carolyn. That's so nice to hear. Okay. So uh, the next the, the next thing that I have is this is called Safari Breeze, which thank you, Katie, uh, gave us the name. Uh, and this is a crochet pattern that I designed in conjunction with the safari collection that Victoria of Vita Lifestyles came out with. So uh, we, she, I was kind of Jones into crochet and she was like, I, I would love a crochet top. And the cool thing about this is, is that this is made in her sock base. Let me show you what it looks like. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? So this is her Vita sock and this is, um, Savannah elephant color. It's, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Mm. And so I made this more of like a, a, a flowy top. Um, and um, it just, you know, I love the way it feels. I love the way it looks. It's a top down crochet. So it's all one piece just like knitting, except it's crocheted. Um, and I wear a tank underneath it. And I just, I absolutely love the way this looks. Now there's little sleeves that you can add, or you can leave it without the sleeves and it's a tank. And that's the way Victoria made hers. And she made hers in her new uh, Merino linen base. And her, her, so her shells were a little closer together. Um, and it was more of a very fitted top. So if you wanted to see us wearing them, it's in my last podcast. Um, and that was a long time ago, <laughs> but uh, probably like a month, which is why it was getting later. And I said to my husband, you know what? I just want to get on. I want to show some things. I want to get something out there so people know that I'm still alive. <laughs> but um, so this is the Safari Breeze top. I love wearing this. I wore this with um, cream, like... Um, uh, like they were jeans, but they were wide leg jeans and it just, mm, I love the way this looked. So that was that. So that's crochet. And then when I was in my haze of, of COVID, of course I had work to do, but I just, I couldn't think very well. So when I went to Atlanta to teach uh, five classes in two days, that was a lot of fun. Um, I went to one more row in Woodstock. And um, uh, when I was there, I wanted to, you know, obviously buy yarn from the yarn shop. And I wish I had the labels, but they're downstairs. Uh, but I made this, 
I love it so much. It's the All Points South by Casapinka. Oh my gosh. I, so I wore this, I've worn it twice already. And um, look at how beautiful it is. So it is made, it's made in the round, top down in the round. So the, the, um, you know, you're always knitting. There's hard, there, I don't think there is any purling. Oh, there is, but it's, it's fun purling, but it's never boring because you're either changing colors or it's a different pattern. And so you have this point on one side, that's where the increases are on either side of the point. And then on the other side, it's like straight across. I packed it in my bag. So it's a little, so it's straight across. And I wore this uh, we went out to dinner sitting outside when we were at the beach and it's a little cool down there, you know, it gets, you know, high sixties, low seventies with the breeze. And it just felt, I love the way this feels. Um, when I go back to do the show notes, I'll, I'll, I'll write the, um, the yarn, but I can't remember what it is, but I got this, I, I remember that this one's called karma. That's a really pretty cream and then a pretty Navy and a pink. And I just, this will go with everything, right? It'll go with navy blue. It'll go with denim. It'll go with dresses. My little white dress I have on today, which is not doing me any favors. But uh, so when you put it on, right? So you can, <laughs> you can wear it, uh, you know, just like this, just to keep your shoulders warm. I'm not going to stand up because um, my back hurts. Oh, you see the attic so the point goes down like this you could also turn it which is the way i wore it i turned it on its side and then pulled it down in the back so see it went all the way around my back and had this cute little point here um it's it i'm not a fan of turtlenecks i don't really like a lot of things on my neck so this just laid it just laid so nicely and i absolutely love the way this is so if you're looking for something fun to make and i did have some comments on it from family members so we'll see maybe that'll be my christmas knitting but um it was fun to do like i said when i was in quarantine and i just i love the way this is this is all points south and when I find the yarn that I used, I will put it in the description. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, I have one more thing. I told you I had a lot of things to show you. One more thing. And I was a test knitter. And I just finished it today. Again, I, I apologize so badly. But uh, I got to try new yarns. This is the first project that I have my hand spun yarn in and um, and I just I absolutely loved it. I did make a couple changes, you know, as per my use, but um, I was a test knitter for the Easy V by Caitlin Hunter. So here is mine. She's not blocked yet because I just finished her today. But um, if you can, oh, isn't it so great? Um, I love the colors in there and I just, I love it. So I made my sleeves a little thinner uh, than, than recommended. Uh, and I think I added just a, an, a, about an inch of length. Um, it is going to be a little bit short on me, but let me tell you, thank you, Joyce. Let me tell you what yarns I used. So I used for the first time La Bienemie's Cori Worsted. So that is the main color. Uh, I don't have, I don't think I have the, see my Tanny Casey bag? Um, yeah, I don't have any of my, any of the stickers. Sorry, I don't know what color it is. So that is the main. It, and that's the first time I ever used it. Um, I purchased mine at uh, Forever Yarn in Doylestown. And it it is a lovely, lovely yarn. So, uh, so that's this part. And then the green is also... Ooh, I'm not doing too good. Uh, the green is also the Cori Worsted. Um, and the, this color is Coke. 
Who? There we go. So um, that is the green. And then I, I did all this from Stash. And then this one is Moondrake's Corey, word, Corey DK, which um, Corey Dell uh, DK, which was very similar to this. I would say that the Moondrake one is softer um, than this is more of, you know, like a real... It, it, I, I ended up really liking it um, and I can't wait to block it. I can't wait to see what happens to it when it, when it blocks, but this is worsted. This is considered DK. They matched exactly the same. So, uh, so I had, so then we, you can see it here. That's the green. And then I don't know if y'all remember, but remember when I spun this up, well, it turned into this beautifulness. And so that I used that. Now, this is a two ply and it really is like a sport weight. And, I, and, and I'm like pushing it being sport. But guess what? I still used it. Uh, so you can see where the orange is here and then up here where it's, it's a little stripey. But that is my hand spun. And here it is again. So you see, they all kind of blended together, uh, all the different weights. So this is one side. And then this side was a little bit darker. But you can see my hand spun in there, too. So this is my first project ever using my hand spun um, in a sweater. And I love the way it came out. I think it's so fun. It's absolutely my colors. What a fun pattern to do, friends. This neckline is everything i mean look on the sides here and i was i was perusing instagram and a uh, prolific knitter has hers it's gorgeous so also it had it when you knit it you knit it with lots and lots of ease like 10 inches of ease and i i did not um i knit the fourth size which is size 48 which is you know like my sweet spot between um three and five inches of ease Oh, thanks, Joyce. Um, oh, thank you, Deb. So uh, mine is going to be a little bit more fitted, but maybe uh, when when fall comes around, it won't be as fitted. And so I'll just take a really quick second to let y'all know that I am on a health journey. <laughs> so funny that I'm talking about my health journey as I'm like recovering from COVID, but um, I started to not feel really well in my body. And so I decided to, you know, to kick things in gear. I hired someone, a nutritionist, and I am having a wonderful time. It is not as hard as I thought lose in my mind. I always thought losing weight was going to be very difficult. My end goal, friends, is not to be, you know, a skinny mini. My end goal is to feel good in this skin because this is the only body we have this time around. And I want to take care of it. I want to feel good. Um, and, um, you know, I want to spend as many years as I can. So I've just started, you know, getting healthy. If you wanted to, uh, I have started an Instagram. It's called Back to Health for K. And I will put that in the description box. If you want to go over and follow me over there, you'll see my journey every week. I post my inches and weight loss. And it's it's been great. Um, and then also once a week, I go on with my trainer so that you can, uh, or my, you know, my nutritionist so that you can actually see, you know, what we talk about. Um, and, uh, this week we couldn't, but, uh, next week we'll get right back to it. So if you're interested in that, that's great. If not, that's great too. Uh, I just thought that, uh, I just share pretty much everything else. So <laughs> might as well, I'm sweating now I'm sweating up here because I'm in the attic. <laughs> So here we go. This is my easy V. Now that I see it up on the screen, I absolutely love it. I love it. Look how happy it is. Ah, I can't, I can't wait to block it. Um, I do have to weave in all my ends. Let me know. Are you guys a weave in ender after you block or before you block? Let me know in the comments, write me some comments. I'd certainly appreciate that. So, uh, once again, I used, uh, Corey Worsted from La Bienna Me, and that was these two. 
And then I used uh, Corey DK from Moondrake that I had in my stash. And then I added my hand spun. Love it, love it, love it. Such a, it was so fun to knit this, by the way, once I was feeling a little bit better. What's coming up for me is, if you haven't already seen on my stories on Instagram, I am participating in Cake Palooza again this year. It is in October. I believe it's October 15th. You can, you, oh, Gail weaves after. You leave a tail and block. Mm, so Joyce weaves in. Awesome. Uh, so uh, I am uh, a part of Cake Palooza again. I am so excited to be a part of the amazing makers that uh, Alyssa of Cake Wool has, uh, has gotten together. Last year was the first year and I got in on that one. So I'm really, really excited. Uh, Shayla is uh, also going to be there. Diane of Suburban Stitcher. She's new this year. Shayla, I got to hug Shayla last year in real life. Boob on boob hug. I'm so excited. So I can't wait. I can't wait to hug her again this year. Um, and so that is coming up in October. The, uh, the tickets are available now they haven't sold out yet but they went on sale yesterday and a lot of them have sold so there is a definite amount of tickets so go ahead and grab yours before they sell out there are four different time slots and you can purchase one or two time slots if you think you're going to be there for a little bit longer and um oh i would love to see you marianne marianne's hoping to be there okay Also, what's coming up next is a design for the skein yarn shop. Do you guys know um, Lori of skein yarn shop? She is up in Rhode Island where I leave a little piece of my heart for the last three years. My son Graham goes to Providence College up there. And so she opened a yarn shop and, and I am just, I'm so excited. So it's, and they have a podcast, which I absolutely love. I'll link all their stuff down below too. So they sent me yarn from a local dyer, which always blows my dress up. Um, and it's from, it's called Jilly and Kittle. Look at this beautiful color. Oh, look how it looks. On, oh, look at all that depth. So this is going to be a short sleeve summer top in DK, which you know what that means. Quick to knit. Uh, I just started um, the process and I can't wait to get started on that. Um, I just started today, so I am thrilled uh, to be working with Lori and Justine of Skein Yarn Shop and to be working with this uh, hand dyed from Rhode Island, a lo the local dyer that they have there. Ooh, I can't wait to see this caked up. I wish I had a cake for you guys. Next week, next week, I'll show you. And I'll show you. Uh, I have permission to show all the progress. Um, obviously, I will be, uh, you know, I'm knitting it for the store, but, um, you know, it'll be available for everybody, the pattern. All right. When I was in Atlanta, I met uh, Gabby of, of uh, Moss Fibers. Do you hear Hank barking all the way downstairs? That's two levels. Uh, if you don't know Gabby, she is um, an indie dyer. And she brought me yarn, which I was thrilled about. Look at how beautiful. This is all me, right, you guys? So this is her. Let me put my glasses on so I can read it. This is her moss cashmere sock. So it is. 80% uh, superwash merino, 10% cashmere, 10% nylon. And this is high heels, the color high heels, flamboyance of flamingos, and tequila sunset. Isn't that gorgeous? Wait, there's a... Hmm. Oh, there we go. And then... What is this? This is called the Merino, oh, sorry, Moss Merino Silk Cashmere. Ooh. So this one is 75% ultra fine superwash merino and 25% mulberry silk. 
โอ้โหมันจะแบบโอ้โบย so this is all that glitter this is a uh, Tucson sun and this is la la v i e n rose gorgeous gorgeous so what I think I'm gonna do you know what these would be great for I'll point south you need three colors these are all three colors <gasps> wouldn't that be great oh this one would be to die for shoot i was going to give it away now i don't want to <laughs> isn't that always terrible i want all the things but no if uh if you leave a comment After this goes up on YouTube, not a comment here. If you leave a comment in, uh, in, you know, leave a comment, like and subscribe, and I will pick a random person to win one of these kits. Okay? Because guess what? I'm coming up on a year. Uh, it's a year of my reprisal of uh, my YouTube channel. And uh, I'm so excited. So uh, we're coming up on a year. I I'm thrilled. I'm absolutely thrilled to be able to come uh, to you. Hopefully, I'll be coming a little bit more and more now that I'm starting to feel better, and I'm kind of getting a little jazzed, you know, being here talking to you guys. But it's been a whole year that I've got to share and and love and and uh, and 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 create with all of you. So thank you so much for being here. So. Um, you will receive one of these uh, if you between now and next week. So next week when I go live, we'll announce a winner. And hi, Janet. Uh, I didn't announce that I was going to be on. I was actually going to do this around you know two or three, but life happened, and so I figured mm, I'm going to do this a little bit later. So we have that. So one of these is going to be given away, which would be great for the all point. South by Casa Pinka. So I talked about Cake Palooza. I talked about um, the new design coming up for Skein Yarn Shop. I talked about my new health journey back back to health for K. It's called the number four and K. Uh, you're glad you're doing this later. Oh yay, Dorothy! It's nice to be here. I love those kids. Have loved listening to you for the past year. I was thrilled to meet you. I love to meet you too, Pat. I certainly remember. Um, so uh, going over all of that, what else is coming up? There was one more thing I wanted to talk about. Oh, uh, this pattern is going live. Finally, almost a year in the making. Uh, so this pattern is going live June 20th. It's it, with the test knitters now. I've posted a couple in my stories. Um, my friend Caleb has made three already. So he has made some short sleeve versions. He's changed it up a bit, and all three of them. You remember when I started? I know, Dorothy. It's been a long time coming, but it's coming out June 20th. But the exciting thing is, is that I partnered with Alyssa of Cake Wool, and the color that's right here is called Orange Cake. Let me get you a close up. Remember when I showed you all? So this was the uh, the thing. This is a little bit muted. Let's see. I have one more right here. Let me show you the color orange cake. Isn't it gorgeous? It's there's just all different. It's getting blown out. If you look back there, that's what it looks like. So. Um, if you go to cakewool.com uh, and you purchase your tickets for Cake Palooza, you will also see a picture of me with that top. So you can pre-order the exact color that I have, and I do uh, receive a, a commission for that as well. So I will also put that in the description box below, and also how much you would need uh, for the sweater. So uh, it is coming out June 20th, which happens to be Alyssa's birthday. So I'm so it does look like a creamsicle, um, and it's so pretty on. Uh, I do have a picture. So I did go and have like. 
pictures taken of myself in it. Do you guys want to see? Here's one. I think I did a sneak peek of it, but here's one. Does it look pretty? And I just have like a, um, just a tank top on underneath it. I remember when we had, when we took these pictures, it was cold out. It was, it was so cold. Uh, but then there's another picture I haven't shown yet. And, oh, let's look at Caleb. Let's look how adorable he is. Look at how adorable that looks on him. He's so cool. So beautiful. You may need it in blue. Yeah, it would be beautiful in blue. And if you're not going to get it from, let's see, where's that picture? I'm going to find it. Anyway, the test knitters were so amazing. They're doing such wonderful, wonderful things. I, I'm just so lucky. I can't. Oh, here it is. This is like, I've never been so uncomfortable in my life. <laughs> but here it is. There's the picture. So it looks nice on fluffy girls too. <laughs> so there's like, you know, that's my like artsy one. <laughs> uh, okay. So, uh, you can absolutely, you know, go go to your local yarn shop, you know, get something there. That would be amazing. But the pattern for that is coming out June 20th, which really is in like less than two weeks, which is so, if you love the picture, thank you, Joyce. Beautiful. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Pat. Um, so there, there is that. And then I know there's one other thing I wanted to talk about, but I can't remember. So we'll have to save it for next time. It is coming up on seven o'clock. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. If you could all, well, there's 34 of you here. If you could hit the thumbs up button, it just would be so very kind of you. Um, it really does help to get my videos out there. And I, I just love connecting with more and more people. Oh, I did remember the last thing. Uh, so I am going to be doing another knit along if you're all interested. It's going to be a cardigan and it is going to be with the knitting place again. We are hashing out the details as we speak. So stay tuned to either the knitting place or to me, uh, Kimberly McAlinden on Instagram if uh, for the details coming up. We thought that it would be a really cool thing to do and um, have it done for Rhinebeck which I will also be going to Rhinebeck for my very first time. So I will be on the hill. Um, and, I, you know, hopefully if some of you are at Rhinebeck, you'll come and see me on the hill for all the podcasters. I would love, love to see you all there and, um, and see all of your whatever it is you're wearing. So, you know, sometimes at Rhinebeck, it could be 80 degrees and sunny. So we'll see those lovely teas or, safari, you know, whatever um, you want to do that, or that's new one that's coming up. Or, you know, if it's warm, you might want to wear, you know, a the, uh, the knit a rainbow or the knit a rainbow cardigan that's coming up. Um, so we'll see. That'll be very, very exciting. Excuse me. Excuse me. You know, when I get excited, I like suck in air. <laughs> So uh, stay tuned for more details on that. And with that, I think I'm going to say good night. It's so nice to see you again. Uh, I will be, oh, one more thing. I can talk about it next week, but um, I am going to be participating in the Tour de Fleece this year. The Tour de Fleece is uh, a spinners. Um, it's a, you know, something that you sign up for. Um, and, uh, you spin, I'm going, to, I'm planning on spinning for 30 minutes every single day. And I, I'm going to spin, I'll show you, I brought it up. I'm going to spin this amazing Polworth silk. I have three, uh, braids and I'm going to spin this up during the tour de fleece. And then I'm going to maybe if I have time spin something else or just purchase the yarn from one of my local yarn shops. But I'm gonna, I would love to make the Guthrie by Caitlin Hunter with my hand spun. Now that I'm all, now that I'm all knitting sweaters with my hand spun, but I'm gonna make a three ply with this. Uh, so I'm so excited. 
Um, and during the Tour de Fleece, I'm planning on uh, spinning for a half an hour every day, and I'm going to live stream it. So everyone can watch me spin if you choose to watch me spin. Uh, sometimes I, you know, when I'm knitting, a lot of times I'm watching other spinners spin on YouTube. I don't know why. It's just, it's very relaxing and I love to do it. So that's coming up in July. Um, it's called the Tour de Fleece and it runs the same exact uh, days as the Tour de France. France. <laughs> Tour de France. <laughs> So that's exciting coming up too. Um, it's kind of like Vlogmas in July where you, you know, I'm going to be on every day, but I'm so excited and I'm thrilled to be back. I'm feeling much better. And so you never know, you might see me here. You might see me at the beach house. You might see me in the car, who knows, but I hope everyone is enjoying. If you're in this hemisphere, the wonderful weather that we're having and if you're uh, in the Southern Hemisphere and you're starting to get all warm and woolly and cozy, well, I look forward to that too. So um, I, um, I sincerely appreciate you all being here. Once this goes up, leave those comments in the description, not in the description, but leave a comment. It can be anything. You can tell me whether you weave your ends in before or after you block it. You can tell me what you love about the channel. You can uh, tell me what you want to see designed next. You can tell me whatever you want, uh, as long as it's being kind, which you all are. Um, and I will pick one random person uh, the next time to... Uh, to win one of those uh, moss fiber kits. So I hope you all have a wonderful day and a wonderful evening. And when life is hard and days are gray, knit a rainbow, because believe me, mine have been pretty gray and uh, knitting has, has carried me through. So I hope you all have a great time. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Janet. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.